Now, let's start a new loan. To start a new loan, open the pipeline and click the new icon in the light blue toolbar in the upper right quadrant of your screen. You can streamline the origination process by selecting the appropriate loan template from the predetermined list. Choose the appropriate template and click Select Template. The first page that you will encounter when starting a new loan is the application worksheet. Make sure that your name appears as the mortgage consultant and that you have selected the proper processor before beginning. Next, click the Forms tab in the lower left quadrant of your screen. Then, click the Borrower Summary to begin entering the borrower's pre-qualification information. The loan processing workflow is divided into stages called milestones. A milestone is a step in the workflow that contains loan tasks carried out by an assigned loan team member. When tasks are completed, the milestone is marked as finished and the loan is assigned to the loan team member who will complete the next set of tasks for the next milestone. The three milestones you will encounter during the loan origination process are lead, pre-qualification, and application. While navigating and completing each milestone within Encompass, you will find that required fields within each milestone are highlighted in blue. All blue highlighted fields must be completed in order to complete the milestone requirements. This is true whether you are in the borrower summary or in the 1003 application. Again, all highlighted blue fields must be completed in order to advance your loan to the next milestone. Should you attempt to finish and advance your loan to the next milestone without completing all required fields, mm -hmm. you will receive an error message requiring that you go back in to complete those fields. The borrower summary can be utilized for a number of different purposes. In the lead milestone, you can use the borrower summary page to log your borrower's name, address, telephone number, and email for contact purposes. Special note that while in the lead milestone, the social security number will not be available to be entered, nor will it populate from any online web application, and the field is grayed out. The loan must be pushed to the pre-qualification milestone before entering and pulling credit, which will also require the borrower's current street address to ensure a proper address to mail out disclosures. The borrower summary is also utilized during the pre-qualification stage. In this stage, you can obtain credit and initial automated underwriting approval. In order to proceed, Enter all information for both borrower and co-borrower if necessary. It will also be necessary to complete the information for government monitoring purposes, which now appears in the borrower summary field. Enter present and previous address if less than two years. If your borrower is refinancing, you can use the copy from present to populate the address fields. Then proceed to transaction details and use the loan program icon to select the appropriate loan program for which you have targeted for your borrowers. Continue by completing the necessary purpose of loan, property type, loan type, and lien position. Then continue to fill out the necessary fields as appropriate. If your borrower is authorizing all application information, you can proceed to page one of the application and complete the entire application before proceeding. 
However, before completing the borrower summary in the pre-qualification stage, you will need to go to page 3 of the 1003 application and scroll to the bottom where loan origination information is necessary. Please verify that all fields have been completed, including your loan officer name, NMLS license, and state license information if necessary. Please also verify that your branch contact address and information is correct. If it is not, please contact the licensing department and or your branch manager.